when I did lifeguard training many, many years ago, I remember learning to be very cautious when you're attempting to save someone because in their panic and fear, they will grab upon you and drown you. And there is danger when Jesus attempts to save us that he ends up drowning in our sin on the cross. And in his death, we walk in newness of life. When you attempt to save someone, you too may drown. Jesus was baptized to save us, to immerse himself in the sin and suffering of the world, but also as a sign that God wanted to proclaim his power upon Jesus and pour out his Holy Spirit and name Jesus very early in the gospel, name him. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. Jesus isn't just some ordinary prophet like John the Baptist. He's not just some ordinary temple teacher, rabbi like the other Pharisees and scribes. He is not just some wandering preacher doling out good advice. He is the Son of God, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. In the baptism, we have the whole Trinity, God calling out, the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, Jesus being named the Son. This is why we baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is equal with God as well as being the Son of God. 